Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use uh, VYOS Virtual Appliance as a NAT router. So what is VYOS? It is a virtual router which is based on Debian operating systems. So it performs all kind of functions that a physical router such as Cisco or Juniper router can do and it supports all type of uh, routing protocols such as OSPF, RIP version 2, BGP and others and it also has a stateful firewall and it can do DHCP relay and it supports all type of uh, tunneling technologies including VPN and it has many more features. The good thing is it is free. It was uh, called as Viata but Brocade acquired Viata and they started calling this virtual router appliance as VYOS router. So basically this is used in a lab setup or in a virtual environment. In my case I use this as a NAT router to provide internet connectivity to my virtual machines running in VMware workstation. So uh, here is my lab setup. On my desktop, I have installed VMware Workstation and in VMware Workstation, I have Windows 8.1 virtual machine which has a single virtual NIC, NIC0, connected to VMNet1 and inside the operating system, I have assigned a static IP address uh, that is 192.168.10.101. Now VMNet1 is a virtual network inside of VMware Workstation and it is used for my internal network and I'll be using 192.168.10.x subnet for this. Now I haven't built a virtual machine yet for VYOS router but after building it this is how it's going to look like. I'll have two virtual NICs, NIC0 and NIC1. NIC0 will be connected to my internal network VMNet1 and we'll be assigning a static IP address to it and the IP address will be 192.168.10.254 and NIC1 will be bridged to the physical Ethernet adapter of my desktop and the physical NIC of my desktop is connected to my ISP router which is connected to internet and my ISP router will lease DHCP IP addresses in 192.168.1 subnet to my desktop NIC as well as NIC1 of VYOS router and then we'll be configuring VYOS router as a NAT router to share the internet to any virtual machines connected to VMNet1. So this is how we are going to deploy and configure VYOS appliance as a NAT router. First we'll be downloading VYOS virtual router ISO file from internet and then I'm going to create a new virtual machine with the required hardware specifications and then we'll configure VYOS appliance as a NAT router and finally we'll test the internet connectivity for my virtual machines. Alright, the first thing we have to download the ISO file. So we have gone into vyos.net wiki main page and here you can see under downloads you have a link from where you can download the 64-bit edition ISO file for physical and virtual machine. So if I click on this, I'll get an option to select a location where I can store my ISO file. Now I've already downloaded the ISO file so I'm going to click cancel on this and I'm going to open up my VMware workstation. So first thing we are going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to select typical. I will select the ISO file that I've downloaded. So it is VYOS and the version is 1.1.7 and it is a 64-bit edition. So I'm going to select this, click open. As you can see it is based on Debian operating system so I'm going to click next. Now I need to select a location where I'm going to store the virtual machine file so I'm going to click browse and I'm going to make a new folder. I'll say router and I'm going to name this virtual machine as router and I'll click next. Now if I go back to the VYOS uh, user guide you can see that it only requires 512 meg of RAM and 2 GB of uh, storage. So I'm going to minimize this and the disk size I'm going to specify it as 2 GB and I'll click next and I'm going to customize the hardware 
and the first NIC will be connected to VMNIC1 like I showed you in the presentation and we are going to add the second NIC. I'm going to select the network adapter, click next and this will be bridged and it's going to replicate the physical network connection state and I'm going to hit finish. No, I don't need the USB controller, sound card, printer and you just need 512 meg of RAM and one CPU is good enough and I'll click close and I'll click finish. Alright so now it's at the installation screen. Alright the default username is uh, VYOS and the password is also VYOS. Okay now in the terminal we just need to type install image. So what it will do is it will install the image to a local hard drive. So we want to continue. So I'm going to type yes and press enter. So I'm going to allow the wizard to partition the drive automatically. So I'm going to type auto and press enter. And the wizard is going to install the image on SDA. So I'm going to press enter. I don't have any data on the disk so I'm going to type yes and I'm going to simply press enter to allow the wizard to use all of the space available to create a root partition and let the image name be default which is 1.1.7 just type enter and the password will be same just press enter you can set up the grub and save reboot Say yes. Alright, the first thing we'll do is we'll check the available interfaces. So I'm going to type show interfaces and you can see I have uh, three interfaces. So the first one is ETH0. ETH1 and the loop pack address. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter into configuration mode by typing config and we'll set the host name for this router set system host name and we'll call this as router. So ETH1 is a network interface which will be connected to internet. So, uh, so I'm going to allow ETH1 to get a DHCP address from my ISP router. So I'm going to type set int ethernet ETH1 address DHCP. And then I'm going to give a description for ETH1, set int ethernet ETH1 description as internet. Now ETH0 will be connected to my internal network. So um, I'm going to assign a static IP for that. And I'm going to type set int ethernet ETH0 address 192.168.10.254 slash 24 and then I'm going to set a description for my internal NIC which is ETH0 so I'm going to type set int ethernet ETH0 uh, description internal and then I'm going to set the gateway IP address for this router. So I'm going to type set system gateway address, which is the IP address of my ISP router, which is 192.168.1.1. Next, to get our virtual machines connected to the internet, we have to set up the NAT rules. So I'm going to type set NAT source rule 10 and I'll say outbound interface is ETH0. So basically I'm creating a rule which is rule 10 and I'm saying the outbound interface is ETH1. Next I'll type set net source rule 10 and I'll define the source address which is the internal network. So I'm going to type source 
address. I'll type the subnet of my internal network, which is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Now I'm going to set up the NAT translation. So I'm going to type set NAT source rule 10 translation address masquerade. And I'm going to commit the changes. I'm going to say save and exit. All right, so we have done the configuration on the VYOS router. So we have set up our internal interface and the internet interface, and we have also set up the NAT rule. So next thing is I'm going to go into my Windows client and I will test the internet connectivity. But first thing is let me check the IP configuration of my Windows 8 NIC. So I'm going to go into properties, IPv4. You can see that I have assigned a static IP address 192.168.10.101 and the gateway is the IP address of my VYOS router which is 192.168.10.254 and the DNS server would be the IP address of my ISP router, which is uh, 192.168.1.1. So it all looks good. So I'm going to click OK and I'll click OK. Close and close this. And I'm going to open up command prompt. And let's see if I can ping google.com. Yep, it works. All right, let me open up the browser. It seems like MSN is coming up. Okay, there we go. I'm going to see if I can open google.com. Okay, you can see google.com. So this is how you can configure VYOS router as a NAT router. Okay, so I hope this video has been useful for you. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.